what resources or tools do you often uh, use to keep yourself up to date with the current happenings in the industry? Um, well, uh, ethics and publishing is a huge deal. Um, uh, so, uh, COPE, which is the Committee um, on uh, Publication Ethics, that they've been a great tool for me just to learn the ins and outs of ethics and publishing. Um, and um, the International Society um, of Managing and Technical Editors, I've been a member for about a year and a half now, and they've really been a fantastic resource because it allows me to connect with other members of the field and and it, it just gives me an opportunity to see you know what new trends um, new innovations in the field and see what other journals are doing that we could potentially be doing that's, that's really good yeah i think in the networking opportunities that mm -hmm. these conferences offer are amazing and i think csc is also one of those really good conferences, but I think CSC is more on the copy editing and then more on the publishing side. And mm -hmm. ISMT really brings people managing editor group together. Right, it's it's a completely different um, different field, really. You know, you're managing editors or in technical editors. It's such a specific um, specific area in the in the field of publishing. It's just nice to be around other people who kind of understand what's going on in your world and uh, can give you advice and suggestions on how to do things better or um, or just give you fresh ideas. Yeah. Yeah, I remember my first ISMT meeting I heard someone say that finally I have fellow colleagues who actually understand what I do. Yes, and people say that all the time, yes. <laughs> like, I don't have to explain what I do because if someone mm -hmm. from the outside asks what I do, it's mm -hmm. so difficult to explain mm -hmm. your job because a lot of people don't even know about it and that really surprises me. Yeah, I, I, I have to admit that when I first took the job with ASGE, I was a little unclear um, as to how uh, you know an association and a societal journal ran. Um, so uh, it was it's a great learning opportunity, and it's been um, it's been just really wonderful using that as a resource to connect with other people and, and learn so much about the field. Someone who's played a major role uh, or been a great mentor uh, in your career so far, because they always say when you're taking up your first job, it's not about which company, it's about having a good boss, because that's where you really learn. Yes. So any personal experiences of how your two years have been so far? Yes, actually, I'm. Uh, I have. I speaking of boss, I have a fantastic boss. Um, uh, her name is Deborah Bowman. She's the. Um, She's the. She just had a title change, which is fantastic for her. But she is the um, managing editor, senior managing editor of clinical publications uh, for ASG, and she's just been a fantastic guide through this whole publishing world. Um, I, I've definitely learned a lot from her during my time at ASG, and and I think that you know together we've actually done quite a lot of new and innovative things with the journal and kind of push the boundaries of what people expect from a, a scientific journal. Any advice for people who are interested in getting into SDM uh, industry as a career or for other early career professionals? Um, just really learn as much as you can about the field. Um, you want to make sure you're doing your research. Um, like I've mentioned before, ethics and publishing is a big thing to be familiar with. Um, uh, and I would say just keep on top of new technology, new trends. What's what's the next thing going to be in the field so you have something to bring to the table when you do get that first position? Um, I, I would say um, it, it's good to be, you know, pick kind of an area that you have an interest in. Um, you, know, If you have a math background or a scientific background, um, you might want to gravitate more to uh, you know, a journal um, or a publication that relates to that field. But just really read all you can. Um, you, you really want to make sure that um, you 
like I said, you're up to date on anything going on in that field. If, for example, um, I work for a medical journal, um, it's great to take a medical editing class. Maybe, um, uh, maybe read uh, just even online. Read uh, some of the things that new innovations that are going on in the in the medical field that you're interested in. Um, and really just make sure that you are kind of building an eye for uh, detail. Um, that's always important if you're, you're going to go into scholar scholarly publishing.